Aircraft Tooling is a repair center in Dallas, Texas, serving the aviation industry. The company needed to automate the plasma and metal spray processes of parts. Applications that are hot and dusty, requiring a robot that can work reliably in extreme environments. We were looking into robots by weight, by payload, and by cost, and of course work friendly. We couldn't, we couldn't find anything in our budget. And the UR-10 became a, uh, a, a great tool for us to, to learn at a simpler pace. Our process of HVOF is a high temperature torch that accelerates the uh, powder stream. The plasma gun, which is opposite of the HVOF, is uh, to get a denser coating, which is a, uh, it's a hotter flame. We weren't sure of the temperatures. We really didn't know until we, until we got it in there and started using it. I thought it wouldn't, it wouldn't stand it, but it, it did, which is still surprising to me how it, it would stand the, the temperature of the gun and the recoil of the gun. We have, we have very, no little maintenance. We, we just, all we do is dust it off and clean it and, and keep on going. So applications like these that are very hot, nasty environments are actually very common for what we see for universal robots in this region. You'll see robots where humans even typically don't want to work and the robots are able to work along there to alleviate the hazard where employees have to work. The environment really doesn't affect the robot's integrity. It's sealed against dust, it's rated for high temperatures, so it functions just as well as a robot in a traditional clean room environment, uh, in my experience. The UR-10 was, was chosen because of its length being able to hang it upside down was always an advantage for us. Once, once we received the robot, we unpackaged the robot, which was real simple to unpackage. And uh, it, it took us maybe four hours to get it going and, and programmed. Trial and error on the dust was the seals in the robot. Some of these coatings are tungsten carbide, which is a, uh, a real hard coating. And if it seeps into the bearings of the robot, then we were afraid it would destroy the bearings. In the last three years that we've been running it, it does not show. We've, we've opened up the, the seals on it and it, it doesn't seem to, to allow it. We were weighing back and forth, you know, on, on purchasing the right robot for our cost, for our industry, and of course for our benefit in financial situation. It was a no comparison to, to, to have a robot that it cost half of the price of whatever else. So uh, yeah, it, it, it won our, our hearts in purchasing the, the simpler more friendly robot. It's now be three years, it's been great, and we haven't had any problems yet.